My name is uh, Alvaro Medina Lopez, but uh, most of the guys, they call me Jackie, Jackie Lopez, because I'm an ex-boxer. I fight in Italy, Copenhagen, Australia, a lot of, a lot of, all over, you know. So I go by a lot of names, you know. Yeah. So I like boxing because I like to be a bullfighter in my younger day in uh, Mexico. When I was uh, uh, 12, a bull get me in my uncle and he broke my ankle and uh, they said, no more bullfighter. So my mother and my dad, they bring me here. And then uh, I start boxing, you know. I meet my wife, you know, and his father, well, and his father, she was a boxing promoter. And I asked my girlfriend, would you please ask your father and see if he can teach me? And she looked me kind of funny. She said, really? I said, yeah. That's how I start boxing. Then I tell my mother, one of these days, you know, I'll be somebody. <laughs> And uh, my mother said, oh yeah, you probably be a thief or this and that, or just no, you know. But I said, no. And I'm here. Then I started boxing in 1969, amateur, amateur fight. I turned a professional in 1972. His father, you know, he put me with a lot of, lot of rough guys. <laughs> tough, you know, tough guys, you know, tough. But I want to be somebody and I don't want to lose my, my girlfriend too. I <laughs> said, his father want to test me, I guess, you know. I fight for the championship of the world five times and tough fights. Tough. Most of the guys that I fight, you know, they're going already, you know. So I want to stay here at least another five, ten years. <laughs> I hope. I ne you never know. We're here today and tomorrow, who knows? Boxing made me a better man. Boxing made me a respect. People, boxing made me, uh, made me help somebody else, you know. That's why uh, I have what I got. That way, uh, I want to help the young, the young kids. You know, but it's hard. I got a few youngsters, you know, they come real shy. But then 10, 15 days, one month go by and they're normal. Then then the mother and father, they come and tell me, oh, thank you, you know. It's way different now, you know. They both go to school. They don't come crying or nothing, no. We save a few, you know. They go, uh, they go to court and they charge him for this and that. And then I talk to the judge and, and then they, they change his life. You know, a couple of guys, three guys, you know, one, work in San Francisco, another one work in Lake You know, they have a new car. They come sometimes and help me. Thank you to the guys, the guys that help me here. If I don't have that kind of help, you know, I just be by myself. 
and I'm an old man. Now, you know, but uh, so far so good. I love, I love the sports, you know. I, I like it. I go down, I, I get up and, you know, I've never quit fighting, you know. I learn a lot, you know, re respect people, and be honest with people, be loyal with people, and that's it. My wife, uh, she tell me, why don't you open a gym? You want to open one? And that's how I opened the gym, you know, because I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Or, or my wife, she don't know what to do with me. I want to teach the young kids what I love. I love it, you know, I mean, I got a big family here, you know. I tell the boys, I want to treat you like you treat me. You treat me right, I'm going to treat you better. The first thing that I tell the youngsters, your education is first, no matter what, you know. If you get educated, you know, go to school, study, you want to be somebody, study, go to school and be somebody. My hope before I die, I like to see Stockton. Stockton is a nice place, but we make it, we make the city of, of Stockton look bad because sometimes we do the wrong things. And we the ones that make San Joaquin County bad. I just want to tell the youngsters, they want to be somebody to don't Though, if you dream to be, become a, whatever you want to be on life, you can do it. Just no quit reaching for your dreams. Work harder. Work, work, work. And if you work, you get something back. If you dream that you want to be somebody, you dream that you want to be a doctor or a football player or baseball player or whatever, whatever, whatever you want to be, you can be. Just no quit dreaming and no quit working in your dreams. That's it, that's the bottom line.